to put the heart to all that small talk and get these people what they really want. Line ass rap niggas really in the way we big the city small pups. Full fledged hustler, everything I put my hands on a nigga double up. Perpetrating gangsters, camouflage thugs, cloned out frogs, fake hard up. Lost face type rapping fairy tales. These are body type niggas bossed up by the touchdown, pulled a couple niggas cars. Whole damn city trying to drip us off. Future Fisty Drake like Martin Luther King, solid leader like I'm Farrakhan. Big hearted like I'm Ali, never break photo back down from nothing. Malcolm X with it, never take orders from fake leaders like a fucking puppet. No one stop hustling, got me counting rubbles, got the phone lines in the block. Drop my little bitty niggas trying to be a boss with the mind frame of a shot runner. Had to set the tone, fly a little pressure, now it's about to be a high summer. But let the shit out the blood for skate, show them how we play, man, it's cutthroat money. Everything a nigga give you facts in the net, nigga coming, I'm coming. Started off doing homicide till a nigga fell in love with getting money. I be giving nigga raised in the jungle like gorilla zone. You already know what it is, man. This your boy E Watts. And man, I'm back with another episode, man, on the Watts Report. And today I got two special guests, man. Two good good men, you know, with good wisdom that come from the streets of Baltimore, man. Really been through some shit. You already know what's up, man. I got my guy, got Michi on here, and I got my guy Lil Vic on here, you know. You already know what it is, man. What's going on with you fellas, man? What's up, fellas? Salam alaikum, first and foremost, man. Well, they can slam to love. Oh, everything, everything is all as well. I, everything I'm to love. I'm being glad. That's what's up. That's what's up, Ak. That's what's up, Ak. In this episode, I just want to get into, you know, um, basically, you know, because you guys got you qualified to speak on a lot of different things. You know, y'all, y'all qualified. Um, yeah, I, I, I want to get on, you know, to your story to also a little bit, you know, because I know you've been through a lot. You, you know, what I'm saying you, um, you was involved even with like Anthony and them case, um, a lot of stuff like that, you know, um, and you out here, you know, in the still a lot, lot of good men that still ain't ma- ain't make it out here, you know, what I'm saying that, um, unfortunately, you know, a lot of best yeah. planners. What's going on with you? I, how you feeling today, man? First and foremost, oh man, I can't complain at all. I'm good, man. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like I said I'm just uh, I'm out here. You know what I mean. The black man ain't never free, you know. But I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I ain't complain at all though. I, I'm good, man. Right, right, so, right. So, um, so for the people that you know that's listening, they um, first and foremost, what 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 are you? What neighborhood you from? Like, I'm from East Baltimore. Yeah. I'm from East Baltimore. I'm from over east. I'm from Chestnut Huffman Street, but a lot of right. people think I'm from the Boulevard uh-huh. and Madison and Bradford and stuff like that. Yeah. That's just places I hung, you know what I mean, with some uh-huh. good men, you know, did my thing. But I'm from Chestnut Huffman Street, Low Block. It's really not known, but that's where I'm from, though. They call us from across the park, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm, I'm Boulevard definitely and all us. Yeah. Chestnut Huffman. That's where I'm from, though. I, yeah, you know, I, I play for Collins Square. I play football. So okay, you know, that's yeah, where yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I, you live yeah, up there, like, on yeah, Preston Street. I was, yeah, I was watching yeah, one of yeah, your Johns, yeah. and you lived up on Preston. Yeah, right most there. definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, I play for Collins yeah, Square, yeah. which is right there, Chestnut Huffman, in between yeah, Pettis and Park. That's my neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where I'm from. See, yeah. I was thinking you was more like Boulevard a little bit. You get what I'm saying, too? You know, yeah. um, everybody think that, though. Yeah. And then my guys, I hung there for years, but... You know, that's not my home. I'm always at my home. Them my guys, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. I just did my thing there, and I'm back across the park. You know what I mean? Yeah, because, mm-hmm. see, I remember, you know, um, when I first got up, when I first jumped off the porch, I was 13, and I used to hustle with my, um, my homeboy, um, rest in peace, near my Fry. And mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, it, near, fry yeah, yeah, Fry, Cuddy. Cuddy was Cuddy my dad. Yeah, yeah Cuddy. Yeah. And... and Cuddy, every time we closed shop, Cuddy would take me back down the boulevard. And I used to be like, yo, I used to live around here, you know, a couple years ago yeah. when I was young. But I wasn't in the streets when I was living, you know, around. I was in yeah. the football or whatever. So make a long story short, we used to go inside like LT house right on Preston Street. We used to veil mm-hmm. up and all that up in there. So, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm familiar with the area real good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I, watch, I watch a joint. Yeah. I, I remember you said that. Yeah. Yeah, yup. Yeah, yeah. Most definitely. So, so Chester and Huffman... What you said that was a quiet block. That wasn't. It probably wasn't as as loud, but it was a little live. I mean, when, like when I was coming up there, it's it's always been a quiet block. It's been a money neighborhood, uh-huh. like money flows through there, uh-huh. but it's never been known for violence. Right. You right. know, like I, right. I like like I'm forty. I'm forty three. I I couldn't tell you the last time somebody got killed on that on that block. Right. You know, since me coming up, like gunplay and all that, like. We just ain't have that kind of crowd. You know what I mean? It was just uh-huh. a, a money block. Like 
more family oriented. You know what I mean? Like majority of that neighborhood is my blood relatives. Right. You know, at that mark. And, and if they wasn't blood relatives, we've been around there so long. You know, we just in and out of houses as we please. You know what I mean? But yeah, I'm not going to sit here in front. It ain't never been like a spot known for that when I was coming up. You got to understand I've been gone for like, I've gone for like 19 years. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So what happened when I was gone, I can't speak for. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? But when I was coming up, it was just known like I would take you around there back then I, and you'll be like, like, why well, I'm around here? Because it wouldn't be the kind of environment that we're used to. That's why I only got my money there. Like, and I liked it, the boulevard and all that. It was live. live. You yeah. couldn't do that in my neighborhood. Them old people call, call the police on you, get you out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It was some blocks that was kind of like that still had like the homeowners vibe, like flower mm-hmm. pots and stuff in front of the, you know, yeah. in front of the houses that's and stuff that, like that. That's how the neighborhood always been. Yeah. Yep. Most definitely. I used yeah. to get my hair cut right there too on, on um Chester and, and um Preston at that barber shop well, right there on the corner. Now see, no. when I left, that wasn't a barber shop. Okay. That was a cut rate when I left. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. That was a cut rate. See, that that was that was new when I when I got out, it was a barber shop right there. I was like, wow, but that wasn't there, you know, when I left. Uh-huh. So you yeah, did that ni- was like a little cut. So you did 19, like 19 yeah. years. Yeah. That's a that's a that's a night, that's a stretch out. You know, yeah, I'm really yeah. glad that you, you know, you out here because a lot of, you know, mm-hmm. other the other good brothers, other good men, some of them ain't as fortunate to be out here that still have their name intact, should I say. Yeah. That still, you yeah. know, um, have their name intact and can still go anywhere, maneuver how, how they want to maneuver and get the respect. And, you know, mm-hmm. um, a lot of best of planners, you know. Definitely. But, Definitely yeah. the best of planners, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. You know. So. Definitely. Let me let me ask you, I, cause you know, um, around the time when y'all fell, I wasn't really like out in the streets like that. But I mean, I I know about Baltimore a little bit. So how was it compared to now? Like, you know, a lot of people be saying stuff like, though the game over, the game ain't the same. I, even though I know like nothing don't remain the same. Everything yeah, changed. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. The change it changed drastically. You know what I mean? Especially it it probably how. How drastic it may, it may seem to me, it may not seem to a lot of people who was out here and watch the change. Uh-huh. You know, but coming from where I come from, slam into the middle of it, like, yeah, it's crazy. It's a whole total, like, we dealing with a whole different monster here. Huh? Oh, a whole new. different monster. You know what I'm saying? And and we we was wild coming up. Like, we, we, we've we done some things, seen some things done. You understand what I'm saying? Uh-huh. But, but where is that now? You know what I'm saying? The kind of firepower that everybody got. You know, back then, if you had a Tech Nine, you was considered the shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> everybody got third ladders and all that now. You know, like, and they ain't scared to use them. That's the scary part. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But it, 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 the change is drastic. I, I can't even um really find a word to express it. Like how drastic, how drastic it is, man. You know what I mean? But um, and. A lot of people will say it's for, for whatever reason, man. The fact is, and that's what it seems like we don't want to deal with a lot of time is reality. And that's just my opinion. Like mm-hmm. you, we always coming up, we're trying to come up with plans on how to uh stop crime, you know, prevent crime and all that. Mm-hmm. Like the fact of the matter, man, like crime is gonna happen. You understand what I'm saying? It's right. gonna happen, you know what I mean? And we say that. You know, senseless murders and these kids is doing that. And to you and I, now as parents, it may seem senseless. You know what I'm saying? Or, or for no reason. But right. it's, it, everything's for a reason. Like them, them, them little guys have their reason. You know what I mean? I'm not justifying it. That's just a fact. That's what. That's just reality. Right. You understand what I'm saying? A lot right. of time we make plans without looking at the reality of it. Uh-huh. You know, you're just trying to come up with a quick fix. And we know. I'm not a politician, and we, but we know a lot of time a lot of those bills and things that's put in place for these kids, these nonprofit, they stealing. You know what I mean? Like a lot of time, it ain't it ain't really for the kids, man. So, so my thing is like, you just gotta um, you gotta try to reach who you can reach, and that's why I told him, I told Michi, I was like, man, I watch all all our stuff, I like it, I like where you're coming from. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody get on these drums and be like, they trying to, you know, uh, they not glorifying it. They doing it for the kids and all that, but all in reality, you're, you're only you're only you're only glorifying it, you know, because you're only telling one side of the story. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like a lot of times, they still really be glorifying it. You know what I mean? But you just got to get who you can get out. 
right. people who listen to right. stuff like this, and I'm going to let you, you know, finish asking questions and lead to where you want to go with it. You know what I'm saying? No, but, no, do you, I, you know. This yeah, but, 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 but like I was telling me, I was like, man, I'll get on it. Like, and because of what a lot of these guys don't understand is it's easy to go to prison. Right. It's real easy to go to prison. Like, like I told Michi when he, when he first told me about it, and I um I went and watched his journal and I watched his. I didn't know that they did them like that. You understand what I'm saying? Right. I didn't know. I, I don't do background checks on people like that. You know what I'm saying? Muslim good dude. I know his name and tag. That's all I need to know. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't need right. to know why he was locked up, what he was locked up for, and all that. But when I listened to, him, I was like, wow. Now. He was done dirty. You understand dirty. what I'm saying? Like we all, we all did our thing out there, broke the law, whatever we did. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But I'm trying to get get these youngsters and even some of these adults, man, because these, these, for lack of better words, is fools, man. Yeah. And I'm talking about like guys from my generation. You know what I mean? Like cold, cold, cold nuts, man. Ain't got nothing on their mind. Ain't trying to do nothing. You feel me? Uh -huh. I went to prison. A lot of people don't know this, but I went to prison with something I had nothing to do with. Right. Damn. You understand what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I tell people that and they still be thinking I'm lying because they know I'm a part of these guys like these. I'm never denying them guys. They my guys. Right. But yo, ask anybody who know me, bro. I never broke the law with and you know, none of them, bro. Never sold drugs with them. Damn. So that's I'm, crazy. I'm telling you, I, we Muslim. Uh -huh. Wallahi. Never uh -huh. sell drugs for Anthony. I, 